New developments since five. We're now hearing from the brother of a man murdered during a carjacking in Buckhead. Channel 2's Michael Seiden is live in Northwest Atlanta. Michael, the victim's family told you about their loved one. They say he was generous and giving. Absolutely. In fact, they have been sharing a number of photos like the one you're looking at right now of their loved one. They say Chris cared so much about his family and his community and that this tragic death is just senseless. And now they're demanding justice. It's still just a senseless, a senseless lack just for uh, his truck. The brother of Chris Eberhardt still can't believe it. He was a builder. He um, did a lot of new construction, but I believe he was out there uh, for a remodel. He was sitting there uh, backed into the job site and he just got ambushed for his truck. The eldest of three brothers, Chris Eberhardt, was also a husband, father, and grandfather who loved to spend time with his family and friends. He's a fun-loving guy. We, you know, whenever you're around, you're always having a good time. He also had a passion for giving back to his community. He did a lot for the community. He was a Freemason, and, uh, you know, he was actually setting up this season for the Boo Run out in Flowery Branch. Um, he's done a lot of work. Um, with the veterans, um, like building um, handicap ramps and stuff like that as well. But last Thursday, he was sitting in his truck parked in the driveway of a home on Peachtree Battle in Buckhead when police say 18-year-old Travis Landry shot and killed him during a carjacking. Then he and his accomplice, Braylon Esprit, drove the stolen truck to Alabama where authorities finally arrested them. The kid would have just asked him. He probably would have just gave him the truck. Yeah, and of course, as the family prepares for that funeral, we know that they've started a GoFundMe page if you'd like to help out and support the family. We have all the details listed on our website at WSBTV.com and, of course, on our app. For now, we're live in Northwest Atlanta. Michael Seiden, Channel 2 Action News.